the funnel beaker culture, short TRB or TBK from Trick to Beecher culture was an archaeological culture in North Central Europe. It developed as a technological merger of local Neolithic and Mesolithic techno complexes between the Lower Elbe and Middle Vistula rivers, introducing farming and husbandry as a major source of food to the pottery using hunter gatherers north of this line preceded by Lengyel-influenced stroke ornamented ware culture groups, late Lengyel and baden Baleras in the southeast, Rosen groups in the southwest and the Ertebol Elabek groups in the north. The TRB techno complex is divided into a northern group including modern northern East Albingi in Germany and southern Scandinavia, a western group between Zauderzy and Lower Elbe, an eastern group centered on the Vistula catchment, roughly ranging from Oda to Bug, and south-central groups around the middle and upper Elbe and Sala. Especially in the southern and eastern groups, local sequences of variants emerged. In the late 4th millennium BC, the globular amphora culture replaced most of the eastern and subsequently also the southern TRB groups, reducing the TRB area to modern northern Germany and southern Scandinavia. The younger TRB in these areas was superseded by the single grave culture at about 2800 BC. The north central European megaliths were built primarily during the TRB era range. The TRB ranges from the Elbe catchment in Germany and Bohemia with a western extension into the Netherlands, to southern Scandinavia in the north and to the Vistula catchment in Poland in the east. Variants of the funnel beaker culture in or near the Elbe catchment area include the Tiefstisch pottery group in northern Germany as well as the cultures of the Baalberger group, the Salzmund and Waltenienberg and Bernberg whose centers were in Saxony and Holt settlements, with the exception of some inland settlements such as Alvestra Pile Dwelling. The settlements are located near those of the previous Ertebol culture on the coast. It was characterized by single-family daubed houses California 12 meters by 6 meters. It was dominated by animal husbandry of sheep, cattle, pigs and goats, but there was also hunting and fishing. Primitive wheat and barley was grown on small patches that were fast depleted, due to which the population frequently moved small distances. There was also mining and collection of flint stone, which was traded into regions lacking the stone, such as the Scandinavian hinterland. The culture imported copper from Central Europe, especially daggers and axes, religion and graves. The houses were centered on a monumental grave, a symbol of social cohesion. Burial practices were varied, depending on region and changed over time. Inhumation seems to have been the rule. The oldest graves consisted of wooden chambered cairns inside long barrows, but were later made in the form of passage graves and dolmens. Originally, the structures were probably covered with a heap of dirt and the entrance was blocked by a stone. The funnel beaker culture marks the appearance of megalithic tombs at the coasts of the Baltic and of the North Sea, an example of which are the Siebensteinhauser in northern Germany. The megalithic structures of Ireland, France and Portugal are somewhat older and have been connected to earlier archaeological cultures of those areas. The graves were probably not intended for every member of the settlement but for only an elite. At graves, the people sacrificed ceramic vessels that probably contained food, and axes and other flint objects. Axes and vessels were also deposed in streams and lakes near the farmlands, and virtually all Sweden's 10,000 flint axes that have been found from this culture were probably sacrificed in water. They also constructed large cult centers surrounded by pails, earthworks and moats. The largest one is found at Sarapon FYN. It comprises 85,000 square meters and is estimated to have taken 8,000 workdays. Another cult center at Stavey near Lund comprises 30,000 square meters. Objects Scarpseling carrot, the clay pot from Scarpseling, is from around 3200 BC. It was found in 1891 on the Oudrup Moor near Scarpseling in Himmeland, Denmark. 
Pottery from a Dolmen in Vastergotland, Sweden. Polygonal battleaxe from Dalinar. Chiok Nakagwayakse from Nark, a flint stone axe characteristic of both the funnel beaker and the pitted ware cultures. Tonakagwayakse from Skane. Double edged battleaxe from Skane. The culture is named for its characteristic ceramic speakers and amphorae with funnel shaped tops, which were probably used for drinking. One fine design to the funnel beaker culture is the Bronosis pot, which shows the oldest known depiction of a wheeled vehicle. The pot dates to approximately 3500 BC. The technology was flint based of which the deposits found in Belgium and on the island of Rugen as well as deposits in the Krakow area were important. The culture used battle axes which were stone versions of Central Europe's copper axes. The early versions were multi-angled, and the later are called double-edged, although one of the edges is more rounded. Ethnicity and language In the context of the Kurgan hypothesis, the culture is seen as non-Indo-European, representing the culture of what Mario Dimbatas termed Old Europe, the peoples of which were later to be governed by the Indo-European language-speaking peoples intruding from the East. The political relation between the aboriginal and intrusive cultures resulted in quick and smooth cultural morphosis into corded ware culture. Heterodoxically, one Dutch publication mentions mixed burials and proposed a quick and smooth internal change to corded ware within two generations occurring about 2900 BC in Dutch and Danish TRB territory probably precluded by economic, cultural and religious changes in East Germany, thus opposing the migrationist view of steppe intrusions introducing Indo-European languages. Genetics It has been suggested that the funnel beaker culture was the origin of the gene allowing adults of Northern European descent to digest lactose. It was claimed that in the area formerly inhabited by this culture, prevalence of the gene is virtually universal. A paper, published in 2007 by Berger et al., indicated that the genetic variant that causes lactose persistence in most Europeans was rare or absent in early farmers from Central Europe. A study published by Yuval Atan and colleagues in 2010 clearly shows this. A study published in 2009, also by Atan Al, suggests that the linear pottery culture, which preceded the TRB culture by some 1,500 years, was the culture in which this trait started to co-evolve with the culture of dairying. Ancient DNA extracted from three individuals ascribed to a TRB horizon in Gokum, Sweden, were found to possess mtDNA haplogroups H, J, and T. 